The Imaris Chapon test is a very simple and quick test for helping brewers in quantifying chill haze within beer. It can be easily carried out within a typical brewery and has been shown to give a very fast, predictive result, correlating well with more complicated accelerated aging tests. Feedback from brewers has been very positive and Imaris believes it can change the picture for validation and assessment time. The first stage of the test is to take the sample of beer and degas it in order to remove carbon dioxide bubbles, which can produce erroneous results. This can be done either through sonication or by pouring it from beaker to beaker numerous times. Once degassed, the sample is allowed to reach room temperature, 20 degrees centigrade. Once complete, a fixed amount is poured into a beaker, to which is added a small amount of 50% ethanol. Gentle swirling ensures the ethanol and beer are mixed. The function of the alcohol is twofold. Firstly, it helps to precipitate proteins responsible for forming chill hazes in beer. Secondly, it prevents the sample from freezing during the chilling part of the test. This beer and ethanol mixture is then gently poured into a cuvette, which is wiped thoroughly to remove any moisture, dust or fingerprints on the glass before being inserted into the haze meter. This first haze reading is referred to as the permanent haze. This is the background base level haze of the beer sample when warm. The beer sample now needs to be chilled. This is done using an ice bath, simply a large beaker to which has been added a small amount of cold water and some ice. To ensure a temperature low enough for the Chapon test to be effective, salt is incrementally stirred to the ice bath to lower the freezing point of the water. Once the temperature of the ice bath reaches minus 6 to minus 8 degrees Celsius, the cuvette is suspended in the ice and then placed in a fridge for 45 minutes. After this time has elapsed, the cuvette is removed from the ice bath wiped thoroughly to remove the moisture and is immediately inserted into the haze meter when the second reading is then taken. It is important to do this as quickly as possible and take the first reading. As the beer warms up, the precipitated proteins will start to re-dissolve back into the beer, giving a lower haze reading and thus not accurately predicting the colloidal stability of the beer. This haze reading is referred to as the total haze. The chill haze is the difference between the permanent haze and the total haze, i.e. the total haze minus the permanent haze. It is this chill haze that can be used to compare colloidal stability of different beer samples and thus highlight any areas where colloidal stability, such as beer shelf life, might be at risk. This method allows a quick and relatively easy way of optimizing beer stability to ensure the correct balance between quality and stabilization costs. This method has proved popular with all brewers that have carried out the test and is used on site by our Imaris brewing specialists as part of our beer filtration and stabilization optimization work. This test forms the basis of the Sea Light Synergy System, single step technology for clarification and stabilization. Those brewers who have trialled it have seen the benefits from the cost-saving and capacity improvement potential of Sea Light Synergy, the beer stabiliser with filter aid properties. Thanks for watching this video. For more information on the very simple and fast Chapon test, or to arrange for one of our filtration experts to discuss your beer stability needs, please visit sealightsynergy.com or email chapon at imaris.com.